Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little toddler dress here. It's pretty simple. A little uh, summer or spring dress here. It's made with a shell stitch pattern. It's got a pretty easy yoke there. Um, I have it uh, available. It's for uh, two size 2, 3, or 4, 5. And that's the only sizes I have available at the moment. And it's just a difference in the hook. And then uh, making it a little bit longer. And please excuse me, I do have a little bit of a cold. Um, but yeah, it's pretty It's pretty easy. It's mainly just double crochet and single crochet. Um, I'd like to take a minute to, to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you don't ever miss any tutorials that I put on. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, special thanks to my friends at Red Heart for providing today's yarn for me. Today I'm using their um, Red Heart with Love Stripes yarn. It is a uh, medium weight, four ply, 100% acrylic yarn. And the color that I'm using is called Fiji Stripes. They have quite a few pretty colors in the Red Heart with Love stripes. Um, and then there are 223 yards per skein. And you're going to need um, probably, it's, you're going to need to get three skeins. You're not going to use all of three skeins, but you're going to need to get three skeins of it. And I will put a link below in the description where you can get this yarn. And I'll, I'll also put a link below uh, to my blog to where you can get the free written pattern for this. Now, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's for um, a size um, 2, 2T, 3T, so size 2, 3. Um, you'd want to use a size H, which is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you want to make it for four, size 4 to 5, you want to just go one, do the same pattern that I'm doing, but use a size I, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you it's the same pattern either way. You just use an H for the 2, 3 or an I for the um, 4, 5. So I did make uh, part of it with an I and I tried it on my, my son, my 5 year old son. So I know that it will work um, for that larger size with a bigger hook. Um, you'll just need to put, the only difference is you'll just need to put some additional uh, length on it. Um, I'm doing mine right now for the two, three, size 2T, 3T for my daughter. So um, we'll go ahead and get started on that. Remember, same, same exact pattern, just a different hook size. But if you're using the bigger hook, you might want to put um, a few additional rows to make it a little bit longer. So you want to start off with a chain of 54. Move my camera a little bit. Now once you get your chain of 54 done, without twisting your chain, kind of follow it down and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here to form one large ring. Just like that. Now we're going to chain one. Now we're going to go right back into that same space that we just slip stitched through and we're going to do a single crochet like that. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around back to the beginning. Just like this. So one single crochet in every stitch around until you get back over here to your starting point. Okay, we're coming to the end of round one. And you should have a total of 54 stitches. And that is not counting that chain one we did. That chain one here at the beginning does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So if you got your 54 stitches, what you want to do is slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made. And that will end round one. Like that. Okay, for round two, what we're going to do is chain one. 
and we're going to go right back into that very same stitch that we slip stitched into right here and double crochet. Like that. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. Now the next stitch we're going to increase, so we're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch. So two doubles into the same stitch and that'll be our increase stitch. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double into the next. one double into the next and the next stitch will be our increase stitch so we'll put two double crochets into the next stitch and that's kind of the repeat for round two one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one into the next one into the next and then the next stitch will be our increase stitch so we'll put two double crochets into the next stitch again one double crochet in each of the next two stitches one in that one one in the next and then the next one is going to be our increase stitch, so we'll put two double crochets into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat for round two all the way back around to the beginning. One double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, two doubles. All the way around until you get back right over here to your starting point. Okay, I've made it to the end of round two. In your last stitch should have been an increase stitch, so you should have two double crochets in that last stitch. And you should have a total of 72 stitches now at the end of round two. And now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into our first double crochet to end that round. Just like that. So now we're going to start round three by chaining one. And we're going to put one double crochet right back into that very, very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. So right there. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one in that one. And one in that one. So counting that first double crochet, we have three double crochets in a row. Now our next stitch is going to be the increase stitch. So we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. Just like that. And again, we're going to put, we're going to kind of repeat that. We're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So we have, so we'll have three double crochets in a row. So one double crochet into the next three. There's one. Two. And three and then two double crochets into the next stitch. That'll be our increase stitch. And that's what we're going to repeat for round three. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. There's three. And then two double crochets into the next. Again, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then the next ones are increased stitch, so two double crochets into the, the next stitch. Just like that. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet in the next three and then two double crochets into the next. 
one double crochet in each of the next three and two double crochets in the next all the way back around to the beginning okay I've made it to the end of round three and you should have ended again with two double crochets into the last stitch and you should have a total of 90 stitches now at the end of round three so we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into this first double crochet here to end that round now round four is going to be the armhole roll row I'm sorry and it's gonna be the same for either size that you're making so what we're gonna do is chain one and we want to put one double crochet in the first 14 stitches so the first one goes right back here into the same stitch so right here we want to do 14 so that's one two three four Okay, I got my first 14 stitches. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a chain of nine. Now you don't wanna make it a real tight chain because we're gonna be working in these chain spaces later. So chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip 18 stitches. So, starting with this next stitch here, we're going to count over 18. Skip 18, and then the 19th one, or the next one, we're going to double crochet. So with this chain still on our hook, we skipped 18, and the next one, I'm just going to yarn over and double crochet right into it. just like that and that is our first armhole <clears throat> now we're gonna work one double crochet across the front 26 stitches now this stitch right here counts as our first or this double crochet counts as our first one so we want a total of 26 double crochets so this would be number one then we continue working here's two three until we get to 26 four five six okay once you get your 26 stitches there that's the, going to be the front part of the dress now what we're going to do is do our chain nine again one two six seven eight nine now we're going to skip again the next 18 stitches and double crochet into the next so <clears throat> skip 18 and double into the next and that is our second armhole there formed and now what we're going to do is a double crochet in the remaining stitches and you should have 14 that remain counting this one so there should be you should have uh, 14 double crochets and this would be number one so go ahead and double crochet in the remaining stitches Okay, I made it to the end and I did have my 14 stitches left. Now, at the end of round four here, you should have a total of 54 stitches. So that is the 14 on this side and the 14 on this side plus the 26 that are in front here. That does not count these chains. So 54 total, not counting these chain spaces and it's also not counting these stitches that we skipped it's just the 26 in front and the 14 on this side and the 14 on this side so 54 i want to go ahead and end round 
four by substitution into your first double crochet. And now we're going to start the skirt of the of the dress. And it's pretty easy. So it's going to be shell stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. Now we're going to go right back into that same stitch and do a single crochet. This is round five we're starting on. And now I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to put a shell into the next. A shell consists of five double crochets all into the same stitch. So skip one and work five double crochets into the next stitch. There's five. And now what we're going to do is skip one and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip one and work a shell into the next. So skip one and work five double crochets into the next. Skip one and single crochet into the next. Skip one and shell into the next. So that's kind of the repeat that we're going to repeat for round five all the way around. I'll show you what we do. We just, we just do the same, we just keep repeating the same pattern even when we get to the chain spaces of the armhole. So we skip one, single crochet into the next, skip this one, and then we're going to need to do a shell into the first chain space. Remember we had nine chain spaces and we're just going to work those nine in the same pattern here. So I'm skipping this one and I'm going to work a shell into the next chain space. This is probably the trickiest part because sometimes these chain spaces they kind of tighten up and it's hard to see and make that if you know they get crammed together and it's kind of hard to see them. You just need to make sure that you're going into the right ones and skipping the right ones. Other than that, it's really pretty easy. Now I'm going to skip, kind of pull it over there so you can see it, skip this next chain space and single crochet into the next. Skip this chain space and shell into the next chain space. So I'm just repeating the same pattern over these chain spaces. Skip the next chain space and single crochet into the next. Let's see here. I gotta gotta look. Skip the next chain space and shell right here into the last chain space. Sometimes it look like it looks like there's not a chain space there because that last one gets really tight, but there is. So skip this one and we will shell into this last chain space. It's not the first stitch, but the last chain space. Now you'll need to skip the next stitch, which is actually when you pull the shell over it. Skip this very first stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and shell into the next. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning. I'm going to repeat it until I get to the next chain space and I'll meet you I'll meet you at the next chain space and we'll go over that together. So keep repeating this um, single crochet shell pattern all the way across the front of the dress. 
Okay, I'm coming to the next chain space. I did my last shell before I reached the chain space here. I'm going to skip one stitch, and this last stitch here before the chain space will be a single crochet. And now we're going to be working the same pattern over the chain space, so we want to skip the first chain space and shell into the next one. So skip this chain space and put a shell into the next. Pull it back here a little bit, and you see you need to skip this next chain space and single crochet into the next. Skip the next chain space and shell into the next. Skip the next chain space, single crochet into the next, and then we'll skip this last chain space here, kind of hard to see it, but it's right here, and then we'll be, start our shell right here into this very first stitch here. So now we're out of the chain spaces, because that's the hardest part, I think. And now we're going to continue our pattern. Skip one, single crochet into the next. Skip one and shell into the next. Now you want to do this until you get to the end of round five. Okay, I've made it to the end of round five and I did a shell and then I'll have one stitch less left to, to skip and then I want to end round five by slip stitching into this first single crochet and you should have a total of 18 shells now at the end of round five now we're going to start round six round six and seven are the repeat rounds so um, we'll start round six it is one of the repeat rounds what we're going to do is chain one and we're going to, since this is a single crochet, we're going to work a shell right here into the same spot. So we're going to go ahead into the same stitch and work five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now what we're going to do is single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell. So if you skip two stitches, skip, skip, you'll be in the middle stitch of that shell and you just want to single crochet right into it. Like that. And now we want to shell into the next single crochet right here. So if you skip two stitches again, skip, skip, you'll be right there into that single crochet and that's where you want to put your next shell. So five double crochets right there in that single crochet. Again, we're going to single crochet in the middle stitch of the next shell. So we, we skip two, one, two, the next one will be the middle stitch, so go ahead and single crochet. And now we're going to shell into the next single, which is right here. So if we skip two, skip, skip, we'll shell into that single right there, the next stitch. And that's the repeat all the way around now. So single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell. So if you skip two, you'll be in the middle stitch. So go ahead and skip two and single crochet right there in the middle of that next shell. 
and then we'll shell into the next single crochet which is right here so if you skip the next two stitches the next one will be the single crochet so we're just going to repeat this all the way around single crochet into the next center of the next shell and then shell right here into the next single crochet single crochet into the center of the next shell and then shell into the next single crochet. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around until I get to the end of round six. And when I make it to the end of round six, I still should have 18 shells when I get back to the beginning. Single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell and shell into the next single crochet. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round six and I still have my 18 shells. I single crocheted there into the top of this last, or in the middle of this last shell. And now I wanna end round six by slip stitching into the first double crochet of the first shell. So right into there. Now in round six. Now round six are pretty much, this. round seven is pretty much the same as round six except for the way you begin and the way you end. That's the only difference. So to start round seven, we are going to slip stitch two times until we get to the middle stitch of this first shell. So we slip stitch one, and then one more time, and that'll be the middle stitch of this first shell. So we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna single crochet right here into this middle stitch like that and now again we're just going to do that shell single crochet repeat so we want to shell right here into the next single crochet so if you skip two you'll be in to the next single crochet so go ahead and shell into that And then we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell. So if you skip two stitches, the next one will be the middle. So let's go ahead and single crochet into it. And then again, we need to shell into the next single crochet. So if you skip two stitches again, the next one will be the single crochet. So we're just kind of repeating what we did for round six, for round seven. The only difference is the way we beg again and the way we end. So I'm going to keep repeating this all the way around, just like we did for round six, until I get to the end. And when I get to the end of round seven, I still should have 18 shells. Just like that okay I've made it to the end of round seven and I did a, my last shell here and you should have 18 shells now you want to end round seven by slip stitching right here into your first single crochet now it's just a repeat of rounds six and seven and remember they're pretty much the same except for the way you start and the way you finish the round so now for round eight, it's just a repeat of round six. Remember, that's where we chain one. And now we're going to go right back into that single crochet, and we're going to do a shell. So we start with the shell this time. And 
and then single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell and shell into the next single crochet so we're just repeating around six and seven okay I went ahead and did a total from row one all the way down 35 rounds so from round one up here it's 30 35 total for my size which is a two three T now if you're doing <clears throat> the four or five I would recommend maybe doing um, 41 rows probably um, but you could do it longer or shorter just end in an odd number of rows so um, now once you get done with that you just tie off and hide your tails now one more thing I'm gonna do is clean up the neck so I'm gonna flip my work over this is the back side and right up here kind of where we started just want to start your yarn in any stitch back here and then you just want to do a chain one and then go back into the same stitch that you just started your yarn in and single crochet and now I'm just gonna work one single crochet in every stitch all along the neck and then this is just gonna clean up the neck the row of the neck here and make it look a little bit neater I guess I'm just gonna do this all the way around one single in every stitch all along the front and then back here to where you started okay once you make it back to the beginning you want to go ahead and end with the slip stitch into your first single crochet not the chain one but the first single and you should have 54 stitches because that's what we started with but if you don't don't worry about it it's not that big of a deal as long as you're you know close to that clip your yarn and then hide that tail and that's it then you'll you'll be finished that's i'll hide that in a minute but that's all there is to it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that way you don't miss any any of uh, my tutorials um, don't forget to check me out too on Facebook. Uh, I always have live streams on Facebook once a week and you can always post your crochet items on there. And also don't forget to check uh, bagadaycrochet.com for the link to the written pattern there in my blog section. And also thanks to Red Heart again for, pro for providing this yarn for me. And don't forget to check out redheart.com where there are thousands of free knitting and crochet tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.